So y'all, as y'all see, I'm getting ready to do the 25 questions. Get ready with me for my birthday. Um, as you guys can see, I have my saying right here. I have my incense. And if y'all want to know what it says, it says I'm completely myself all the time. That people are confronted with what I am inside and out as honest as I can be. Period. Poo. Boom. Makeup. I got my lighters. I got my torch because I don't like lighters. I got my sage to clear out my energy. I got my stones. I got the questions. We're going to get it popping. I got the water. Because I need. Because I be drinking water. Period. Let's go. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> So you guys, today, since it is my 25th birthday, you guys, I'm going to be answering 25 questions that you guys have. And da -da 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 -da. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. If you're new here, hey, what's popping? What's up? If you've been here, I know. I just got to had to get my life together. Because if I did, who knows what would happen? So you guys, um, today, whether you're new here, old here, whatever, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, make sure you guys are following me, make sure you guys are leaving comments, make sure you guys like it, share it with a friend, tell a friend, go tell a friend, whatever, let's get it popping. Um, yeah, because I don't really have no long intro. So today, you guys, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, you guys, honestly and truly, before I go to work. If I work. And I ain't got eyes. Like, y'all see that? I think I'm going to wear that today. But we're going to be doing a get ready with me 25 questions because I am turning 25. I've been here a quarter of a century, I believe. Is it a century? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. Um, yeah. So, the first question that we have here is why do I constantly entertain Mr. Military? First off and foremost, I am no longer entertaining Mr. Military anymore because Mr. Military hurt my heart. Um, but if you're talking why I kept on entertaining Mr. Military, it's because I love him from the bottom of my heart, like my whole heart. Um, obviously, I fell in love with him. And not the asshole side of him like even like even that part I love because the other parts of him that I seen that made me be like hmm this is interesting I want to continue this was honestly it was honestly his kindness that got me it was the discipline the ability to be grounded and to brighten my day like Honestly, people tried to make me feel like he took advantage of me. And at one point in time, I did. But then I realized, like, I'm a grown woman who made this decision. Yes, he lied to me about being married and stuff. Like, yes, he lied about being married. And that hurt my feelings. When I say it hurt my feelings, like, it hurt my feelings a lot. Like, people always be like, oh, man, like, what is it like to, you know, like, when you don't know that somebody's married and you're dating them. And you start to actually like them and fall in love and they show you like the softer side of them. And then now you're shit and they're stuck like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Right? You kind of get to the point where it's like, okay, cool beans, right? Yeah. So yeah, we kind of got to that point and he told me. <laughs> on accident I believe like I honestly don't believe like it was just like oh man I'm finna go let shorty know that I know what she was doing and what she was doing. nah it was just came out but that's why I was entertaining him my favorite job my favorite job that I had ever was a teacher cause I got to do stupid shit all the time and nobody like really questioned me on some of the stupid shit I've done like I feel bubble as a teacher and as a teacher, it is fun to eat a bubble. I know y'all know teachers who have to teach other kids who y'all don't have the process and the aspects and the pleasure of teaching two-year-olds and younger people. Y'all like, what is fun about eating a bubble? Um, a lot. And 
my two year olds. Honestly, I like teaching because I always taught like younger, majority wise. I've always taught younger. But as I got older, I ended up like teaching older and I realized I don't like older. I think older is overrated. Um, it's a lot of overrated. Like people always say like, oh, how come you don't like teaching older kids? Because older kids are assholes and they, a lot of them you have to like kind of coach in a sense to their confidence. And I'm not in the business of coaching kids to be confident. Like as a two year old teacher, I taught my kids, like, I kind of prepared my kids, so I kind of have, like, a higher expectation for, like, other kids. So, like, when I see kids and they're like, oh, man, I don't have the confidence, right? I constantly, like, think to myself, like, why don't you have the confidence, huh? And I get it because I was one of those children, but at some point in time, like, sometimes the damage be too much if you have to do that on shadow work. And to go tell a 14 year old like hey you gotta figure this out it's kind of sounds harsh but it's the truth because as we become adults we have to figure things out by ourselves and our lonely and we don't get that um that experience of we have all day and all year to go fix it because honestly as an adult who's gone through depression as an adult and still had to go to work like obviously like the hardest thing to do so yeah <laughs> i can honestly truly say i don't like working with older kids because they're assholes and a lot of them are like fixated in their own thoughts and their ways and it's fun to like challenge them but sometimes it's like they have more say so on if you're going to keep your job or if you're going to lose your job if you're going to have a job tomorrow or the next day because they, I don't know, they're just, I don't know. Younger kids are more fun, they're a lot more work, but they are fun. The only thing is, I don't like breaking with older kids, because it's like, they're always either like really hot in the ass, and then you have to like care, and then you have to be super, but you can't OD, and it's like, it's like a really big time. With younger kids, like they're not, as what you call it so being a teacher for two-year-olds was fun eating bubbles was fun like my biggest concern was like probably poison control right because i ate a bubble <laughs> in all honesty like that was the biggest loot for me like oh man i ate a bubble am i gonna die possibly no because they make it for children um why do i do my own hair I do my own hair because why not <laughs> um i remember once upon a time when i was broke i wanted to have my hair done but i remember like it cost so much money to get my hair done and i was like wow i don't want to pay this person all of this money to do my hair and then they wouldn't even treat my hair with like the dignity and respect that it deserved so like if it came down to braids or whatever that was burning off my hair and at the time like when i first started doing my hair i was natural so it wasn't like i was still using perms and things of that nature i had um natural hair and as the person who was taking care of their natural hair like it is a bummer when you have to like <laughs> see your hair grow and then you see somebody like <laughs> your hair you're just like i am traumatized i am most definitely traumatized like if this is trauma i'm living it in the best form because my hair is fried i don't know what i'm gonna do with my life after this hairstyle like it's cute now but when i take it out it's not gonna be cute anymore um tell us a secret um one of my secrets is i'm a really big anime fan like i love anime like if you interrupt me during anime you're most likely to get broken up with <laughs> like even if it's not on purpose like you guys i got into an argument with one of my friends because i was like you are inconsiderate you don't think about me and every time i'm having fun you always want to come and be a hater a cock blocker a dis a disc a discrepancy in my life you, you cause stress you're the reason why i stress i'm stressing because of you and almost ended our friendship 
I know y'all like it's just the anime to you to you it is how do I maintain um how do I maintain as in I maintain in a lot of ways um honestly like if y'all seen the pre video y'all know that um I stage I do a lot of stuff um I stage um I have the thing like I honestly like I just give myself monthly goals I may not like honestly I give myself monthly goals and the only reason why I give myself monthly goals is because monthly goals helps me keep up and remember what I have to do like honestly between the podcast thinking about going back to YouTube um honestly it is a lot of work people always be like but YouTube is so easy and da 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 like if you're not creative on here like it is not as easy as people think it is people are like oh man but all you gotta do is be consistent being consistent takes time a lot of y'all like edits i really don't like editing i really like keep it raw and all the way funky with y'all but you guys yeah <laughs> uh because i realized like my life is raw like i don't like to have like a lot of anything too much like i'm the type of person that prefers peace Honestly, it's truly. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. How, okay. What to do when I'm, de- what do I do when I'm depressed? Um, honestly, I isolate. <laughs> I isolate for a little bit and then I come back to the world with a more realistic expectation of what's really going on. Because having depression is like, kind of like your mind like playing tricks on you. So like, you'll be like oh man today's not a great day mind you nothing's going wrong nothing's like just you'll just wake up like sometimes it just comes out of nowhere too which makes it even worse so like people be like oh man like how do you maintain easy i cry a lot (laughs) i kind of go into isolation and i figure out what i'm feeling and why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling and then i really like I've learned how to sit in my emotions, not be in my emotions. Like, honestly, it's the difference between sitting in your emotions and being in your emotions. Like, when I'm sitting in my emotions, I'm stopping and I'm putting everything into perspective. Meaning that I am literally, like, the perspective queen. Like, I'll be like, was it really a bad day or was I just agitated the whole entire day? Or was I concerned or worried about something that I shouldn't be worried about? And I'm just like, oh, man, like, what do you mean? Like something that I shouldn't be worried about i.e. example like if like let's just say like if I know I'm on my final right up at work and it's stressing me out like really really bad and I'm like oh man I don't have another job whoa because that's what happened (laughs) everything bothered me and when I get really stressed like my depression kicks up and it's like hi you have us to fall back on and since my since they say that my depression just pops up randomly, it pops up at the wrong times, honestly. So I had to sit in my emotions and realize, like, is everything okay or am I just ODing? <laughs> and honestly, a lot of times I don't be ODing, but the way that I handle the situations make me OD. So, like, what I mean by that is, like, I'll be stressed out and aggravated instead of saying I'm stressed out and, like, coming down and logically logically to come like to a conclusion like hey this is what i'm going to do this is what i'm not going to do i'll sit there and i'll be like hmm well such and such isn't doing this and this is going wrong and this is that and the third and i'll be like but i really don't care because like a job is a job and i realize that a lot of times like when i like od that i really od for nothing because the main thing I'm ODing about is fixing this up now, naturally, without me having to worry about it. And I trust that whatever I believe in is going to take me in or whatever and go there. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I know a lot of y'all are like, I know a lot of y'all like, what do you believe in? Um, That's for me to know. I would, I would thought about answering that and I was like, nah, because I don't want to convince nobody to do anything. I want people to find their own religion and their own belief system because people have different belief systems some people don't believe in nothing at all but what i believe in is what i believe in um which stone do i use um right now i currently have three stones this one is for warding off depression and fear um this is my newest baby 
um this one cost me $16 um but it's not my favorite one um honestly I would say like it helps me <laughs> when I meditate and I'm like oh my gosh I'm OD scared um yeah but my favorite one is actually the calming stone because 99.99999% of the time I'm OD I'm, I'm like super duper hyped so I need to be calm my calm stone is broken yeah take the signs take the signs take the signs um but my calm stone has broken honestly and truly but it's my favorite stone um and i have a hard chakra stone it's a pink um which color stone who is my favorite person me of course um but if we're talking outside of me um i would honestly say my favorite person is really um my mom my mom makes me laugh like me and my mom so ghetto so ghetto but honestly my favorite person in the world is my mom because <laughs> my mom is like my biggest supporter and like the biggest realist to like burst out my bubbles <laughs> and i be needing my bubble burst sometimes meaning that i don't need like sometimes i have like a full proof plan or whatever and then I'll be thinking it make perfect sense and then boom realisticness and then um yeah so that's my favorite person my favorite ex my favorite ex is the one who broke my heart tremendously like when I say he broke my heart he put that thing in a blender said fuck my feelings and just really went on and lived his best life out there in the streets and i say lived his best life to the fullest like was cheating hoeing around everything i really should have did my eyebrows but i don't have an eyebrow kit sis i don't have the eyebrow kit and honestly when it came down to it like he broke my heart like when i say this nigga broke me down like he broke me down like any shred of confidence that I had like and the reason why he's my favorite ex because he taught me so much about myself like he taught me that I should not put my beauty and validation in a man and that yeah that do y'all know how they have the stereotypes like oh I don't need a man I don't need a man and I realized that I don't need a man who's going to devalue me or make me feel less than that's what I realized so my favorite ex is the one that broke me down. I ain't gonna say the name, but because we don't give fame to people around here. <laughs> um, I know some of y'all like we are things. No. Um, what is? Oh, how do I balance my life? Honestly, I have a chart and it has like my goals and stuff for the month. I literally set goals for the month. Um, sometimes I go OD, so when I do, can I like beat up? I burned the bacon by accident. I did. My mom's being hated because I burned the bacon. But this. I'm tired of playing games. Um, but no. Um, I really have like a thing where it's mostly like just me like actually setting goals for myself i know people are like but why do you set goals for yourself like what goals do you have and whoop de whoop whoop and yada 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 like honestly my goals are really simple well not really simple but they're simple for me and it's a lot of things that need to be done because i have like i do a lot of stuff so i have a lot of little things that need to constantly be done and when it's not working out, like, I just bust down everything into, like, little goals. Because the little goals go to the bigger picture. And then I work on the bigger picture. So, it's better to be done. Um, Maybe I'm tired of playing games. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Um, what is shadow work? Shadow work is basically working on self on a spiritual level. Um, if you want to know more about that, you guys can request a video. I'm not going to do that. That is going to take hours and hours to explain. And to actually do the work with you would be draining and 
that's just not free you feel me i just like getting this video was free 99 doing your shadow work is going to cost you who am i crushing on if i'm being honest if i'm being honest um i'm honestly crushing on <sighs> I'm honestly crushing on, um, who am I crushing on? Really nobody at this point in time, which is a shocker to me, I know. It shocks me too. I'm not crushing on anybody. Um, <laughs> and it's not that men suck or that women suck. It's just that at this point in time, I'm crushing on myself because I'm doing more work to fix me out. My eyes, this is why I don't like them makeup because every single time like just so y'all know i'm not a licensed makeup person i'm like we can tell we can tell shit i know please don't please don't be so hard on me in the comments i know i know i know i know i, know I should be better than this i used to go to the club i ain't had practice in forever so like yeah so um um so yeah biggest thing i'm proud of um the biggest thing that i'm proud of is actually myself and the ability to love myself when it's hard um <laughs> because a lot of people we talk self-love or whatever but that's what i talk about on my podcast so if y'all want to talk about so if y'all want to hear about like self-love and stuff and like that and how i learned to love myself um go talk go turn into the podcast it's on every outlet it's called real talk with drill all together i don't even know why I didn't do it. I don't even know how I put it all together, but it's all together. It's real talk with just Drea. So it's R E A L T A L K W I T H D R I A. We get it popping on there, okay? And it's a new episode that drops every Friday. Only thing is, sometimes I'll drop two episodes. Like on my birthday, it's going to be two episodes. So today, so go check that out. Um, am I single? I am. <laughs> And I'm single by choice. It's not that I don't have options. It's just that I don't feel the need to explore my options or be a whore. Whore, whore, whore. whore. Like, honestly, let me phrase that because I want to know y'all getting your feelings. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I've chosen to be single because I said I want to be happy in my life, meaning that I want to be at a place where I'm at peace and I'm not stressed out so as far as all of that goes i'm single i've personally chosen to be single if you don't want to be single i know some y'all like but dating me is not as easy as it seems it's not as easy as y'all want it to be um honestly yeah yeah um trust me i'm not difficult but i have a standard now and it just grows bigger and bigger and bigger every single day because i've learned to love me more and i've been through so much stuff that i don't look at it like oh man like i'm damaged because i looked at it like these are lessons and things i'm not gonna put in with so when i see red flags i'm just like i'm gone um so yeah when it comes down to um what happened to texas that is put on hold honestly and truly what happened to amazon i got fired amazon constantly showed me that they could not commit to the what you call it when i got they corrected they lied to me they really did that and that really hurt my feelings like it hurt my feelings to the t because i was not prepared for that like people be like oh i'm prepared for whatever's gonna happen with my job because i know that i'm a good employee yeah i thought i was good the managers like me everything honey i got baker at it they let me go and then when i did work for amazon prime they weren't giving no hours the manager before she i don't know what happened to her let <laughs> make sure i was fired um <laughs> so that's what happened to amazon how did i chip my tooth um honestly drinking um i was drinking y'all glass hit my um tooth still thing crack all of this i had a feeling need to be refilled so yeah that's where we're at 
Um, what is the most embarrassing moment I've ever had? Um, the most embarrassing moment that I've ever probably had was me. Um, my most embarrassing moment, I honestly truly want to say, is probably probably when I almost like. <laughs> Y'all, I was at, um, y'all, I'm so not ghetto. Like, I'm so Caucasian at heart. If you let my cousins tell it, I'm Caucasian to the T. I'm Caucasian at heart, okay? I'm Caucasian at heart. So, basically, what had happened was, so basically, what had happened was, um, I was at this, um, function, and it was a bunch of dudes that, and this is why I found out I had a crush on Bushy B. Y'all, I did not know none of his songs. And people were singing, and I did not know the lyrics. So he was like, everybody in the booth should know this. And I was like, I don't know this today. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm like, I'm just realizing who you are. Because mind you, I was up with my cousin because, you know, whatever. But um, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm doing the wrong thing. But yeah, so basically, I was like, I'm here for my cousin. I don't know none of these niggas and none of their music. Please don't. So he looked at me, he was like... You know this song. I was like, I really don't. I'm just here because I'm trying to be a supportive cousin. And this is not working out how I thought it was. You know, that's my most embarrassing moment because I was like, da, 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 da. and I didn't know the lyrics. I should just say I didn't know the lyrics. Um, what do I want for my birthday? What do I honestly want for my birthday? I want a million dollars. No, I don't. Um, I honestly truly want. <laughs> I honestly just want to watch Ricky Morty. Okay. Yeah, watch Rick and Morty. Probably um get a little intoxicated. Celebrate twenty five years of life. Get me like a little small cupcake cake and call it a day. And being a bunch of onesies like a child, cause I, cause y'all let her call me childish. Being a bunch of onesies like like childish onesies, right? Y'all actually had a dream that I was looking for a Hello Kitty backpack in the store. Yes, yeah, like genuinely looking for a Hello Kitty backpack. So I guess that means that I'm supposed to have one or I'm supposed to be looking for one. And I found the perfect one, but it came at the same time. So honestly, if I could have celebrate my birthday in kind of way I want, I want everybody to be in a onesie, a childish onesie at that. Like Lilo and Stitch, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh, we talking everything. And then I want that to be the, um, what you call it. Um, so yeah. And then I want people to watch my in my animes and shh 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 shut up. Okay. I wanna actually finish binge watching Assassination Class and I wanna get paid and I want my paycheck to be ready for the, for when this for the day because I get paid on my birthday. When we don't get paid. Um how do I do my shadow work? Honestly, stones, crystals meditation things of that nature who's my favorite x and y i already did that one but so i'll give you guys another question i have to come up with a question for you guys i really did not peep that i did that what is my favorite food i love me some jamaican food some oxtails with the rice and peas and the little sandwich they be putting on the side i like it i love it i live for it yes Um, what is my greatest comeback? My greatest comeback of all time is honestly surviving death. Um, I remember last year around this time, I was like two weeks since I had been choked out and almost died. Like, honestly, like everything went black. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I was in a panic, y'all. Like, honestly, and I was crazy as hell. Like, I had to lost my mind. I was like, I almost died. You feel me? And I felt like the people around me wasn't supportive. So, for me, it was kind of stressful because, like, when you almost, like, die, like, which I hope nobody else has to deal with this. Like, when you almost die, like, it is scary. Like, people always be like, oh, man, that was not that bad. And so, you're in the position and you're, like, there. So, no, my greatest comeback is actually discovering who I was, discovering my strengths, falling in love with me again that is my greatest comeback like after i almost died y'all and honestly because uh for a long time i didn't believe that i was gonna make it to 25 
I was like, man, I'm da 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 da. da. I, was gonna be real, I used to be real suicidal, y'all. I was a troubled child. Um, why is my favorite food here twice? Um, what motivates me? What motivates me is the fact that I keep on having to go through adversities. I was taught or something that I believe in is that the more adversities that you have to face, that's the more resilient you are and that shows purpose. And when you're going through adversities and things of that nature and you're getting tested, I feel like that is just something that says that like you have a greater purpose and if you sit there and you give up on it because life got harder things aren't going the way that you want it to go then yeah then you need to whatever so that's what kind of motivates me like to really keep it pushing is that I know who I am as a woman and not only do I know who I am as a woman but I also know what I am as a woman and how I want to be loved and how I want to be treated so yeah that's what just kind of like motivates me like nothing really it's just like I wouldn't be going through half the shit I was going through if I wasn't special or important. Because, honestly, that's how I feel. I feel. I heard that adversity means that you're doing something. Millionaires aren't made overnight. People who have big things in life have to go through a lot of stuff. And they feel like over and over and over again. So, I feel like my purpose is tied to, like, my tragedies. If it makes any sense. But, um, I have to give you guys two more questions. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, because I repeated two questions. What is something that people ask me, um, that I don't mind answering? Why am I mean? Um, I'm not mean. I'm just very straightforward and direct. I prefer to be direct and honest with people versus to sit there and lie if I can. Um, what are some of my turn-offs and turn-offs? So one of my turn-offs is honestly a liar. Like, I don't care if you married, got 20 kids, ain't got your shit together, ain't got your life together, whatever. I prefer you be honest with me so I know exactly what I'm getting into before I get into it. So when I'm in it, I'm not sitting there looking dumb in the first sight. So that's the turn-off. Turn-offs for me are strong black man oh my gosh i love black men and when i say strong black men like i don't mean like strong black women i mean like physically fit strong black men and i mean like mentally emotionally whatever i feel like in that sense of strong yes i know because i know like, like, like we listen to your podcast so we know you say you're not a strong black woman I'm not a strong black woman i'm human i want like somebody who is mature and intellectual like emotionally knows how to handle their shit without like losing their shit and knows that even when they lose their shit that they can come back from it somebody who's emotionally available but also the leader of the house and understands that emotions matter and how i feel matters and so and so did you like that is the biggest turn on for me like a man that can sit there and tell me like hey babe this is bothering me this is what i've been thinking about and whoopsie whoop whoop and I really don't want to talk about it now. I just want to say it. So when I do bring it up, that we can have context for what we're talking about. Because it is important to me about how I feel. Also, I really do care about how you feel. But right now, I cannot deal with it emotionally and deal with my shit emotionally. Like, that shit right there would turn me the fuck on. Like, I get chills. Just, like, just think, like, just think about the conversations that we could have up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Yeah, I do make me so you know, like I just love it. I live for it. It is, <laughs> it is, baby, baby. It's the communication for me. <laughs> the communication for me. Yeah, the communication for me. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's just what it is. Um, baby, it's the communication for me. So, yeah, those are the 25 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that there were repeating questions. I know some of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, like, how did you not peep that? Oversight, or Oversight. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That was honestly an oversight on my part, and I do apologize if it bothers y'all, but 
I got 25 questions. Um, now that I've got y'all 25 questions out the way, do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. That is J-U-S-T-B-R-I-B-R-I-A underscore underscore. Follow me on Snapchat at Justria96. Um, what else? What else? What other social media do I have that I want y'all to follow me on? Oh yeah, my podcast. Okay. Um, make sure you guys tell a friend and, and y'all actually listen to it and y'all actually give y'all like honest feedback and opinion on what y'all think I be talking about. Cause honestly, I talk about a lot of stuff there that I can't talk about here on YouTube because if not, I'll either get flagged or bans or somebody who's super sensitive is gonna be like, I'm offended. And all y'all be like, then it shouldn't be out. But it's my podcast. Um, it's called Real Talk with Drew. Um, there we have, and on there, honestly, honestly, and honest, <laughs> that's a ugly, that's a ugly ass corner. And honestly, y'all know that's why I get it popping out. That's why I do most of my shit talking at. Um, yeah, and I upload there more, cause it's like literally a no filter thing. I know I'm gonna upload more on here, so yeah. Starting next month, starting next month, starting in April, because we're practically in March, mid March, we're gonna have a podcast dropping every when not a podcast, my podcast drops every Friday, but a video dropping every Wednesday. And this is going to give you guys updates on what I'm doing, how I'm moving, what I'm doing, certain things. I might even start. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I was going to lie to you guys, but like, I'm going to start back vlogging. No. I like my privacy. I think it's a really nice thing to have these days. Like, with everybody wanting, like, access to your life. No, I'm sorry. And if I do start vlogging. Just know that I would charge y'all. Like, I would honestly make OnlyFans and be like, if you want to follow me, this is what you have to do. Because over here, this is what we do. Um, so, yeah. Honestly and truly, this is what we're doing. I know I didn't blend that out all the way. I'm going to blend it out. I pinky dinky promise. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, like... When I get on, when I get on, this I could tell like it's too much lip gloss, y'all. But yeah, I was dropped twenty five questions. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I do be on TikTok. I just got TikTok, so we gonna get it popping now. Period. Pooh. Happy Friday. Make sure you get your check. Make sure make sure that check getting cut. Um. <laughs> Make sure you're paying your bills. Make sure your rent is doing on time. Or your mortgage, whatever it is that you pay. <laughs> Make sure you out here living your best life. And I'm out. Oh, my hair, y'all. Okay, so here we go, y'all. Girl, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. So, y'all. I know I gotta burn my ends. Yeah, this is why I don't like burning my ends because they stick to my clothes and then they just become fluffy little pieces. And I'm just like, ew. Fluffy. We don't do fluffy around here. We gangsters. Um, let me stop. But yeah, you guys, uh, this is the end of the video. I'm rambling on if you're still here. You can tell me happy birthday too. It's not gonna hurt you. It is not gonna hurt you. And if you really wanna give me a birthday gift, Go tune into the podcast, you feel me? Go subscribe to the channel. Support me. That's all I want for my birthday, in all honesty. I'd be happy. I'd be happy then. I'd be happy then. Happy birthday to that. Happy birthday me. Happy. Make it a happy birthday for me. I really have to lay down my edges. Lord. I know my boss is probably going to be like, I don't know. Her edges come in here every single day edging but my edges be edging but yeah that's it we out bye bye